Today we're going to learn about porosity. And if you remember from the notes, porosity is uh, all of the space in between the individual pieces of, of, your, of your sediment, of your gravel, of your sand, of your clay. All of this is substrate. And no matter how small these particles are, there are spaces between the particles. Now, these are called the sp pore spaces. Uh, what we need to do is come up with a way to measure the amount of pore space. And luckily for us, we've got water, which makes an excellent space filler. So I'm gonna pour water into each one of these uh, different types of substrates. And whatever is poured in, that's a measurement of how much empty space uh, is left in between the individual grains. So first off, we're gonna start with gravel. You can see at the bottom of your screen just how big those particles are. I'm going to take 100 milliliters of water in this uh, beaker. I've got 100 mils of gravel. So I'm going to add as much water as I can to the very, very top of that 100 mils. see it go in all right so now if you look you can see we have just about Well, I'm looking at it eye level. I'm gonna say 61 milliliters left in that graduated cylinder. So I've got 61 milliliters left. Sixty-one milliliters left. And that means that we have poured in 100 minus 61. We have put 39 milliliters into that beaker. So the pour space was 39 milliliters. Uh, that's gonna be about 39% of the 100 milliliters of gravel, 39%. Now, we're going to do the same thing with the 100 milliliters of sand. I'm going to take 100 milliliters of water. You can see the air bubbling. See the air bubbling out as it seeps down because the, the pore spaces are filled with air at this point and the water is replacing them. Take a little bit more. Looks about right. And here, if you look, we have about 59, 59 milliliters left. So 100 milliliters of water minus 59 milliliters. Forty-one percent. Now the clay is very, very fine grained. 
<clears throat> and this one may need some help for all the water to get down into it. See the bubbling coming up? Now this clay, if you've ever gotten your car stuck in the mud, that's pretty much what we've got here. Very thick. Some more to go. Have to add a little bit more water. Bit of a mess. And if you look here, you'll see that it's about 50 milliliters. And I'll let you figure that one out. All right. 